In earlier chemistry courses, you probably learned to distinguish between the physical properties of a substance, like melting point, density, state of matter, color, from the chemical properties of a substance, like combustibility, or acidity, or how easily a substance corrodes. Physical changes involve some sort of measurable or observable change in a substance without changing its composition, that is, without changing the substance's chemical structure. So physical changes don't change the molecular structure of a compound. The most commonly discussed physical changes are those that involve changes in the state of matter, solid to liquid, or liquid to gas, for example. Often, physical changes involve changes in intermolecular forces, but not changes in the bonds within molecules. Chemical changes, on the other hand, do involve changes to the composition of a substance. That is, they involve making and or breaking chemical bonds. Chemical changes involve chemical reactions. Chemical reactions are the main focus of this course. Reactions involve the motion of electrons, resulting in the making and or breaking of chemical bonds. In order to understand chemical reactions, we need a strong understanding of what chemical bonds are. They're pairs of electrons shared between two or more atoms, causing those atoms to stick together somehow. During chemical reactions, these electrons flow from one place to another. This electron flow can either break chemical bonds, make new chemical bonds, or both. In Chem 202, we'll be exploring how and why these chemical changes occur, learning the principles of reactivity.